at the age of 24, I'm thinking, hey, I just want to get better. But at the same time, I'm just like, this is it. Like, I have to do this. I got diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma, stage four. I went to the oncologist. The oncologist did advise me of doing egg freezing before starting the process of chemotherapy. I was still in shock. And uh, I wasn't thinking really about my future. I was just thinking I need to get better. You know, I have a son at home, he needs me. Dr. Bunnis was the first doctor that I met. And once I saw the doctor, the doctor made me feel like this is a reassurance. I know I'm gonna go through this. I don't know what's gonna happen, but if I can't have a baby naturally, I have a backup plan. I'm extremely grateful I'm here and I'm cancer free. And now I'm like, okay, I think I'm ready to have a baby. She was actually surprised I came back and you know, six years later, we're talking about the same eggs that she removed. She was confident that she can get me pregnant. So on the 10th of April, she came to me with, a, with the embryo picture. And she said to me, you have an extra six embryos frozen that went to blast and her face made me like light up too and we were all crying and I'm like oh my god and then I started to test and I saw a little faint line <laughs> and after that it was just me my mother was just ecstatic oh my god you're pregnant and and I took a ton of other pregnancy tests after that just to make sure and until I saw the doctor again when people go through certain things you see life differently and I want to just tell other people that IVF may sound like it's a lot to do and a lot of medication and it may happen, may not happen, but just with faith and positivity, a lot could happen. To regret something like this, to not be able to do it, I'm just like over the moon. I'm like, this is the best decision I've made.